Hey guys, it's Aika. We're gonna be checking out Signature. They are back. So excited. Um, I'm just happy with comebacks at this point, girl. Um, but yes, this is Anyong Insahe. Smooth Sailing is an English title. That is not a direct translation if you couldn't tell. I'm sure we all know what Anyong means. Um, but yeah, but really excited to be seeing what they are doing. It's very interesting because when they came out with Boyfriend, I thought they were doing something really interesting with Signature. But then the comeback after that, I was like, well, maybe not. So just overall, just kind of just want to still still see what the vibe is happening with Signature because um, I feel like all the other groups under C9 are very they have their signature styles. If you want. <laughs> even Epex that always comes out with something different. There's they have a specific kind of thing that they go for. So um, yeah, but anyways, you know, with it, let's get smooth sailing. Maybe it'll be happy because. Stadia X was a little <laughs> heavy. Ooh, I love a bright orange hair. I love a bright orange hair. The docks. Okay. The double focus. Tamagotchi. I like the song though. She a banger. Little school concept. Little nostalgia. Q. I feel like cute. Ooh. Nice. Skimu. Did they add those water things in post? Oh, that's really clever. <laughs> it's girl time, okay? Girls freak out together. Ooh. Interesting. They're supposed to be flowers? I don't know how I feel about the overlay effects. There are some on the floor, so I wonder if they just put them on the floor and then they added more. Look at the sunset. Ooh, golden hour. Oh, hello. I wonder if they chose orange for her hair after they made these visuals or how the order went. Because her orange hair is really tying into a lot of the color palette here. I think the song is really great. Um, it just kind of just sounds, you know, 
standard K-pop stuff. Is this a, a single or is there more B-sides? Um, but no, I didn't really think the song was great. I really like it. I love songs with this type of vibe, especially from girl groups. I just, I always love them. Um, they always end up in all my playlists. Uh, fourth EP album, Us in the Summer. Mess with my mind, smooth sailing. Sorry, so sorry, little me. Uh, will I do a first listen? I don't know because first listen is going to take a while before I check that out. Um, but just because everything takes a while for me to check out, apparently. Um, but yeah, no, I thought it was really great. I like the sound. I kind of like it just being a standard kind of girl group song, if that's like what they're going for. But overall, yeah, I really liked it. Do I kind of wish it was the same kind of interesting vibes that we got from like uh, getting that Boyfriend album? Yes, I do. But um, I kind of still want that signature because it really, really set them apart. Um, but yeah, but I really liked it. I thought it was really great. The music video, there's definitely an nostalgic factor to it, which I think this type of sound works for. Like, it just has that feeling like very simple outfits, very simple, even the school uniforms were very simple. The, everything that they wore was simple. White t-shirt, jeans, the little white t-shirt with the little shorts. Um, everything was just very simple. I think it was meant to be kind of just like simple like yeah no it was overall simple but an interesting nostalgic factor that like i mean the kind of only really big major clue to that is the little like tamagotchi i feel like and the fact that they're in school because even with the school and the overall look to it it doesn't look like most um school concepts, you know what I mean? I, for me, there's like a nostalgic factor, but nostalgic for like the 2000s, you know what I mean? Uh, without being like Y2K-ish. Um, so I kind of like that it did give me like a sense of nostalgia. I think it adds more emotion to the overall comeback. Um, but yeah, the choreography was cute. They had a little point moves. It was really cute. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just girl time. Girls with girls, girls having a girl time, you know what I mean? Um, and overall, I thought it was just like really cute, the progression of it. They see the little flyer, they go, they practice, they rehearse, and then they go perform. Really kind of simple story, but overall, yeah, it was, it had, it, it felt very nostalgic without being overtly kind of in your face nostalgic about it. Um, which I guess, like, it just always depends on the concept because I feel like those work for certain concepts, but I like how here you can get that feeling still of like nostalgia without being a very in your face with, um, the production design, the outfits, you know what I mean? Like, you can still get that feeling, even from visuals like this. It is very interesting, but yeah. I will say the only thing I'm not a fan of was those interesting overlays, like the water effects and, like, the petals. Like, it can work and stuff, and they try to, like, make it work. I just don't know if it just didn't work out as well on set, so they try to add them in post, but, um, yeah. Well, that, those were a little, a little, a little off for me, but other than that, I think the video was really great, and I overall really enjoyed it, and I think the last performance, uh, was really cute, and that was, like, a really cool set, so I don't, like, with the Ferris wheel and this sort of, like, little fair thing happening, it was really cute, but overall, yeah, I did enjoy it. I think the song is great. Overall, yeah, Signature did a great job with another comeback. Go to pre thoughts to come down below to that best signatures. Smooth sailing. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, or description down below or at the end screen. If you like gaming content, I have a game channel. It's called Eric Just Games. Links in the description down below. Currently playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you can join me over there for that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you and I'll tell you guys later. Bye.